Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Cassell. Let's fight Baltimore's vacant property problems. They could mean stiffer penalties for absentee owners. City Council tonight introducing a number of bills that could potentially fine someone up to $1,000 a day. WMER 2 News is Dave Detling live for us tonight outside City Hall to explain what happened. Dave. Hey there, good evening. Well, that sticker shock is meant to be a wake up call for property owners. Talking to city leaders, it appears the game plan would be that if people can't pay, the city would take ownership of those properties, which then could be put up for sale to Baltimoreans looking to revitalize neighborhoods that are full of blight. My plan is once I get this. Tebby Monroe dreams big when it comes to this dilapidated area of the Barkley neighborhood in East Baltimore. I'm going to uh, do like little art shows with the kids inside that lot. Her future nonprofit requires buying at least four of Baltimore's vacant row homes. They're not easy purchases. Trying to pursue and buying is like it's hard because it has to go to receivership and then all of that type of stuff. So meanwhile, the houses are just sitting here uh, abandoned and getting rotted out. That issue, along with others, are what some Baltimore City leaders are trying to tackle. It's unacceptable. The city needs to do more. In an effort to clean up vacant properties and or streamline the city's newly approved REM foreclosure process, City Council introduced a number of bills Monday. Several of them would increase fees associated with owning a vacant property in the city. It's going to push more properties into uh, receivership. It's going to push more properties into potential the, the tax uh, a lien uh, a side of things uh, and hopefully into the hands of responsible owners. City Council President Nick Mosby introduced three of those bills. They include fees directly forwarded to property owners for things like extensive 311 service calls and emergency calls like a fire department service call. According to his bill, owners would be on the hook for $400 per hour per fire engine. Fire investigation services could cost $500 an hour in so on. We have several examples in my district and across the city where the house has not been getting a failure to a beat. Councilwoman Odette Ramos also introduced bills. One of her proposals would make property neglect cost more. We're talking $1,000 per citation. Those fines could continue daily if not rectified. And the goal here is to get the attention of the owner to say, hey, come on. It's not just these little high grass and weeds, you know, citations. It's this big one. You've got to pay attention. And if they don't, we keep citing them because my bill says that every day is a new citation, is a new violation. If fines and liens supersede the property value, that could push homes into city hands, which then could be sold to people like Tabby Monroe, who want the local landscape to change. I just want to put some type of warmth to this neighborhood. And these five bills all sound good and fine. However, they still need to become law. So right now they are working their way through their prospective committees. No timeline as to when we could potentially see these on the books. Reporting live tonight outside City Hall, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.